Hello, welcome back to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be sharing with you my recipe for spice cake with brown sugar cream cheese frosting. I am so excited to share with you guys as usual. Okay, we are gonna get right into it. So, off camera, I um, poured about a cup and a half of buttermilk in a measuring cup, and I just set it to the side so that it could come to room temperature. And while that is happening, I am mixing up my dry ingredients. So I'm starting with three cups of cake flour, which you saw me add into my bowl. Um, I'm also going in with about a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and then I'm going in with some ground cinnamon, some ginger, and also some nutmeg, okay? And I'm adding in about a teaspoon and a half of each of those spices, okay? Um, after I add those in, I'm going in with about two teaspoons of baking powder and then a teaspoon of baking soda, which you aren't gonna see me add in this because I almost forgot it, so I added it off camera, okay? But yes, add all those things into the flour, and then we're just gonna give it a good whisk, make sure everything is well combined. Okay, so I set my dry ingredients to the side and I gave my buttermilk about 45 minutes to an hour to come to room temperature. And now I am creaming all of my ingredients together, okay? So I've got two sticks of unsalted butter here in my mixer. I'm going in with one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar and about a half a teaspoon of salt, okay? And then I'm just gonna beat this for a good five minutes or so until it's nice and light and fluffy, okay? And after five minutes, it's gonna look like this, okay? And I'm gonna turn off my mixer, grab my spatula, scrape the bowl down a little bit just to make sure everything's well combined. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my eggs, okay? You're gonna need four eggs for this recipe. I'm adding in one at a time, mixing well after each addition, of course, okay? And then um, with my fourth egg, I'm also gonna throw in a nice generous splash of vanilla. And we're gonna beat that together and then we're gonna start adding in our dry and wet ingredients. Also just wanted to emphasize the importance of using room temperature ingredients, okay? I know I already told you about my buttermilk before, but I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that my butter as well as my eggs were all room temperature, okay? Room temperature ingredients just mix faster, they mix well together, okay? It's easier to mix your cake with room temperature ingredients. If your ingredients are cold, it's gonna be a lot stiffer, and it's just not gonna be a good situation, okay? Your cake is gonna come out dry. It's just not gonna be good, okay? And you don't want that, especially if you're using this recipe for the holidays and you're gonna be sharing it with family and friends. You don't want nobody talking about you, okay? So make sure that your ingredients are room temperature to achieve the best result. So I'm mixing in this splash of vanilla very quickly, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my dry and wet ingredients, all right? Before I um, explain that process, I do wanna mention that obviously I speed these videos up for time purposes, okay? So although it looks like my mixer is on like super hyper speed, I'm only on about um, medium speed or so, okay? So whether you're on a stand mixer for this recipe or a handheld mixer for this recipe uh, medium speed is all you're gonna need okay so anyways um, I'm mixing in my dry and wet ingredients I'm alternating between the two and I'm starting with the dry ingredients and ending with the dry ingredients okay so um, as you saw I added in about a third of my flour mixture and I mixed that in a little bit and then I went in with half my buttermilk and I mixed that until it was nice and smooth, okay? And now I'm just taking my spatula and scraping down the sides of the bowl, scraping the bottom of the bowl, making sure um, everything is nicely combined. And then I'm gonna um, go in with another third of my flour mixture, mix that a little bit, and then go in with the other half of my buttermilk, okay? I'm gonna mix that until it's smooth again, um, take my spatula, scrape down the sides, fold it together a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with my last third of the flour mixture, okay? And I'm gonna mix that just until it's combined, okay? You do not wanna overmix this. Um, if you overmix it, you're gonna really activate that gluten that's in the flour, and the cake is gonna be a little bit tougher, and it's just not gonna be as light and fluffy, okay? So, 
I'm mixing in my last third, like I said, and then you're going to see what um, your batter should look like after everything has been well combined, okay? So I gave everything one last good fold. As you can see, it's super light, super fluffy. This is what you want, okay? Super airy. It's almost like a whipped cream uh, texture, right? It's super fluffy. So anyways, we're gonna get our pans ready and we are gonna get this cake ready for the oven. Now it is time to prep my cake pans, okay? So I'm spraying each one generously with this baking spray, okay? And I'm using three nine inch cake pans for this recipe, all right? Um, I'm just spraying them generously so that my layers don't stick. And then I'm gonna start evenly distributing my batter, okay? Um, if you do not have cooking spray or baking spray, you can totally just um, coat your pans in softened butter and then dust each of them with a little bit of flour and that would work well also, okay? Um, but yes, I used cooking spray today and now I'm just distributing my batter. Um, I kind of eyeballed this. If you want to measure it, you totally can. But I just added a little bit of batter to each pan, spread it out with my spatula, and I tapped the pan on the counter just to release the air bubbles in the batter and to level it out a little bit. Um, and then I just continued that process until all of my batter was in each of the pans. Adding in this last little bit of batter, uh, my oven has been preheating at 350 and I'm just going to pop these pans in after I level out this last little bit and they are going to bake for about 25 minutes or so. So while those are baking, we are going to get going with our frosting, all right? This is a brown sugar cream cheese frosting, um, and I'm just starting with one stick of unsalted butter and one 8-ounce block of cream cheese, and I'm just going to cream this together on about medium speed for about two minutes or so, okay? Uh, once it's nicely combined, I'm going to go in with two generous tablespoons of brown sugar, all right? And I'm going to beat that together until the sugar is nicely dissolved and everything is well combined and then we're going to go ahead and start adding in our powdered sugar So this is looking nicely combined and I'm just going to start adding in my powdered sugar, okay? So in total I'm going to use 6 cups of powdered sugar for this frosting, um, but I'm only adding in 2 at a time just to make it more manageable, okay? So I'm going in with 2 cups of sugar, I'm going to fold it together with my spatula, I'm going to go in with another 2 cups, fold it together, and then I'm going to go in with my final 2 cups fold it together a little bit and then get my mixer and kind of beat it all together just to like really get it nicely combined, all right? Um, after I combine all the powdered sugar, I am going to add in a splash of vanilla and that'll be my frosting, okay? It's super quick, super easy. Thank you. 
Also just want to take this time to mention very quickly, as usual, all of my recipe notes, my exact measurements and cook times and all of that stuff is in the description box below for both the cake and this frosting, okay? So be sure to check that out to get all the details on this recipe. my beautiful layers are done I'm just testing the center making sure they're all cooked through and they are so I went ahead and flipped them um, onto my cake rack to cool for a good 20 minutes and then I went ahead and started frosting guys this cake smells so good it smells like fall it smells like the holidays Oh, it just makes you feel warm and cozy inside, okay? But um, I'm going to go ahead and start frosting this. As you can see, my layer was sliding a little bit, so I put a little bit of frosting underneath just to get it to stay in place. And now I'm going to continue frosting my cake. So just add a nice heat to the center and then spread it out evenly to the edges, okay? That's all you have to do. And then add another layer and continue the same process until all your frosting is gone. just about frosted I'm just gonna kind of smooth the top out a little bit just to make it look like something you know but no pressure with frosting this it's a homemade cake okay so just do the best that you can um, either way it's homemade so I feel like people will be impressed with you okay so just do the best you can um, but now at this point my cake was sliding just a little bit because the center of my layers were still a little warm so I am adding these toothpicks to my cake um, this is just gonna help it to set in place okay so I left these in for a good 30 minutes to an hour or so and then I removed them and now here is the finished product look at the knife go into this cake look at how soft <sighs> It is just so soft and so amazing. This cake was delicious, okay? I sprinkled the edges with some turbinado sugar just to make it pretty, you know? You can do that if you want. You don't have to. You can sprinkle it with brown sugar. You can sprinkle it with cinnamon so people know that it's a spice cake. Um, whatever you want. Just make it your own. Uh, just make it pretty because I do believe you eat with your eyes first, right? But here it is, you guys. So moist and fluffy and amazing. Okay, this cake was so stinking good and it's perfect for the holidays. Perfect for Thanksgiving or Christmas or just because. Because it's fall, okay? Um, but yes i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know it was a little longer than my usual but it was worth it right um i hope you give this recipe a try and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye mm. it's really moist Ooh, i love i, I love the frosting Mm. Mm. 
Mm. What? It's really good. Mm. <laughs>